Hi, I'm Amy Kelly with Tooele TV, and today we are having a fun outing. I mean, I, I think it's kind of going on a field trip, and we wanted to bring you along to White Desert Rods. They're located in Grantsville, Utah. Tell me what you specialize in here at, at White Desert Rods. Well, mainly my, my big part here is I do all the fabrication, custom uh, metal work and fitting and stuff like that. Um, we do anything from uh, mild chops to complete uh, restoration or any custom wild idea that you can come up with, that's that's yeah. what we'll do. Now, when you say chop, for the, the layman who doesn't know what a chop is, explain it. Well, like this truck here, we've done, uh, a, it was chopped, but it was uh, actually done in incorrect. So we've had to cut the bad one off and put a new uh, top back on. So it's back to factory. And what we'll do with this one is we're gonna cut three inches out of the top and lower it down uh, so it has a different look to it. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys really take it from the ground up because as I look at this, I see things that I would frankly never know how to put it together. And you, this is a passion for you. How did you decide that this is the route you wanted to take with your life? You know, this is something I've always loved doing. I've always had the cars. My dad had several cars when we were growing up and always just playing with it. Um, I've actually have a car that was his in high school that was around and we were kids I'd play with it and pretend to work on it and this and that and now I've actually have it and one day I'll get it done too busy doing other <laughs> that's stuff. the typical thing yeah. for mechanics right yeah <laughs> <laughs> all the cars and no time to work on that's your own it. now we were talking that your specialty here is that you're in the body work and the fabrication so to speak how long does it take on an average project I mean it's the one behind me what would you say is going to be into that by the time it's finally said and done? This one is one of our more extensive uh, projects because there's so much custom and fabrication that they're, we're doing to this truck. It's going to be completely out of the normal. Um, so something like this, I mean, it can take up to a couple years on completed car. I mean, the fabrication doesn't take as long. But to get the body work right and, you know, all the rest of the components and electrical, everything takes quite a while. Um, some of our other ones, more simpler ones, we have another truck that's, it's probably going to be about eight months by the time it's done. And it's, uh, it's, you know, we've chopped the top, channeled it, and some other fabrication stuff wow. to it. Well. I mean, so you really do have the whole range here. It's kind of, I guess, how, how much do you want to put into it? And do you find that you do most of the work, or are some of the owners actually coming in and doing some of it? You know, on a some of the projects, the owners do love to have a big part in it. That way they can say they've done something to it. And we only do as much or as little as they want. So, uh, yeah, we've had a couple clients come in, and they'll do a little bit of suspension work or things that they know how to do. Um, we've got another client. He's had This is his second build he's he's doing and he really wants to come in and have a more hands-on part and it's like you know what come in i'll line you up we'll do some stuff i can get you going on this so you can have some fun with us well this is a really fun project i mean and obviously it's a labor of love because see, it's not for someone who just wants a quick fix you're you're putting some time into this it's going to be you know two years my goodness i mean it's not something you would just slam together <laughs> no, no and there's no corners we don't cut corners right. you can't um you know it's just it's just so much fun. We love it. It's what we do. It's, it's just, in your blood. It is. It really is. <laughs> well, thank you, Ray. I'm now joined with Jeff Bird of White Desert Rods out here in Grantsville, Utah. And uh, Jeff, you're more the, the finish work guy. Tell me how you got started in the industry. Um, I, you know, growing up, my brothers have always built cars and such. It's always been in the family. And even young, I wanted to do something they weren't doing. And they could build them, but they weren't painting them. <laughs> so I just kind of got started that way. I became the finisher. Well, and I can tell you do good work, obviously. You you attract business from all over the place, including um, in our state. And tell me how you guys go out and, and uh, solicit for business. Well, we have found the car shows to be the biggest biggest place for us to be able to drum up work. And we like just showing what we can do, you know, just putting it out there. And uh, um, the Autorama is the biggest show of the year for us, you know, because a lot of people come from all over to see the cars there. And that has turned out to be one of our better ones. And how many cars would you say are actually at the Autorama show? Um, there's about 300. Oh, my goodness. And how many there. are you going to have in, in the upcoming show? We will have six at this show. Now, how long does each car take for you, actually, to, to prepare for something like that? Well, it depends. I mean, you got, you got the build time and what we do to them, you know, whether it's a mm -hmm. stock build or a custom build, you know. It could go anywhere from four to six months to a couple years to build one. What's your favorite project you've done so far? You know, it, it's kind of funny because there's, you know, I, I'm a Chevy guy. I'll say that. But um, we have all kinds come in. 
but they grow on you. You spend that much time, and we don't we we put a piece of us in everything that goes out of here. So by the time it leaves, it's like it's one of ours. When we start a build, we post the pictures on Facebook, you know, and we carry it through so they can, you know, if they're not able to make it into the shop to check on their car, they can see where it's at and where it's going, and they can share it with their family and friends. We make it everybody's involved. Right. It's not just give us your car and we'll build it. So if somebody wanted a project, what's the wait time to get into your shop? Um, we're about six to eight months to get one in here now. Oh, wow. I mean, you're obviously you're busy, and I see a lot of cars in here you're working on. Um, how do you determine which one's going to get the attention? Uh, you know, we kind of rotate through everything that's in here. Okay. You know, the shop's full. There's a lot of things that we do that have to sit for a while after they're done. Um, you know, there's a lot of patience involved. Plus, you got parts, and a lot of times you're waiting on parts, mm -hmm. you know. And when you're doing stuff like this, all the customizing, a lot of the parts you order, it goes back and forth two or three times before your supplier understands what you're doing. Wow. You know, so it takes time. It it's all like takes speaking time. a different language almost. Exactly. You it is. Know it. it is. So if someone wanted to get a hold of you, how, what would be the best way to reach you if they wanted to do some kind of a project with you? Uh, just give us a call <laughs> or find us on Facebook, website, Facebook, our thing. website, whitedesertrods.com. Well, you've got an awesome shop out here. And of all places, Grantsville, Utah, it's White Desert Rods. Thanks for watching Tooele TV. I'm Amy Kelly.